Hey guys, what's up? Sorry, thank you for tuning in. Happy New Year! I know it's been a long time. Sorry, you guys, this is gonna be a very theoretical video because I'm going to introduce you to the main concepts about linear perspective. This video is gonna be like the steps one, two, three, and four from the book Perspective Made Easy by Ernest Arnolin. Sorry for the pronunciation, but I'm gonna add some sugar in it, some history. I hope you like it. Perspective Latin to look through. See the object as though it were transparent and you could see all the sides, front and back. Through the arena, how to draw what you see. So, perspective in art makes things look three dimensional, make things appear closer or in the distance, and suggest a feeling of space. Look, I study computational mathematics, so I'm kind of a mathematician. And so, I like geometry and demonstrations. I Personally, don't like history that much, but bear with me, this one is really freaking cool. I based this part of the video in a short video named A Brief History of Perspective in European Art by the channel Edison Green. Thank you, Edison. I'm gonna put the link down below. Show them some love. Basically, it said that the use of perspective in art has emerged in the Middle Ages, so Greeks and Romans knew that if you want to think look closer, you draw it big, if you want to think look in the distance, you draw it little, that's a thumb rule of perspective, that's simple right? But this knowledge was lost in time, that's why some paintings look so weird, I mean, I'm an amateur but it's kind of weird, right? This is the Madonna and Child in Majesty surrounded by angels. According to CBC, if you wanted to somebody look like they were behind someone else, you sort of painted in the top of someone else. That's so funny to me. So one day in the 15th century, an Italian architect named Filippo Brunelleschi had discovered perspective. According to Sailor Academy, Antonio Manetti, Brunelleschi biographer, writing a century later, describes one of these experiments in which Brunelleschi painted an exact copy of the baptistry in front of the famous cathedral in Florence on the surface of a small mirror on the top of his own reflection. To demonstrate the fact that it was indeed a Z replica that would fool the eye, Brunelleschi drilled a small hole in the mirror and then stood directly in front of the baptistry, looking through the peephole to see the real building. He held up a mirror in front of the panel, which blocked the view of the real building, but now reflected the paint vision of the same scene. By moving the mirror in and out of the way, Brunelleschi could show that he had indeed produced an exact copy of the three-dimensional octagonal building on the two-dimensional surface of his mirror. That's cool, right? According to Side Cove, Brunelleschi seemed to observe that with a fixed point of view, parallel lines appear to converge and a single point at a distance. An object appears smaller as they recede into the distance. He would use this method to calculate depth. Brunelleschi was able to use math to calculate the scale of objects within a painting to make them seem more realistic. As a mathematician myself, I also love definitions, so I'm gonna give some for you. This fixed point of view in the distance that parallel lines seem to converge, it's called a vanish point. Can we have more than one vanish point? Can we have zero vanish points? I tell you in another video. Haha, <laughs> now you're stuck. 
A little theorem, if I can say that. When two parallel lines meet at a point, all lines parallel to these two meet at the same point. This vanish point is always on the horizon line. Horizon. On the sea side, the line far, far away when the sea meets the sky. That's beautiful. It continues. Eye level. The high level of your eyes. It follows you around everywhere. If you change your eye level, you change how you perceive the horizon too. From Birkenhain Young University, Idaho, the terms horizon line and eye level are often used synonymously. 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 I guess. However, the term horizon line refers to drawings that are outdoors, while eye level generally refers to drawings that are indoors. After the her discovery of Brunelleschi, the Italian Leo Battista Alberti used math to show how to use horizon line and vanish points. In this book, Della Pittura, on painting, in 1435. Another thing I would like to say is about Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci invented a perspectography to trace a scene on glass before painting on something. That's cool. That's a perspectography. That's a confusing picture, but you got the idea. The history of perspective goes on. If you want to know more, watch it on Green. It's a great and succinct video. You're gonna love it. Well, that's what I got for today. In the next video, I'm gonna show these concepts on the paper with a few examples. It's gonna be a mess because I'm learning. It's gonna be the first time I will record my table. This is the channel. It's all about the first times so bear with me if you like the video please give me love like the video subscribe maybe all the research are in the links down below thank you for your time i see you soon bye